this is your romance energy for the collective, anyone in a twin flame, soulmate, love, or romance connection, this is for you in the upcoming week to uh, understand and have clarity about the energy that is going to be in the collective for you to move through. So this is timeless. Whenever you're watching it is when you're meant to be watching it. And as always, take what you like and leave the rest. So let's go through day by day. I've got Rebecca Campbell's Work Your Light Oracle. It's nice because we're having longer days um, in the Northern Hemisphere. So I felt like bringing in more light. Let's pull a card for Monday. Get right to it. Tomorrow, Monday, Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty, Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, and Teacher. This is very interesting. It's a lot, a lot happening all at once. Um, for Monday, what this means in your romance, it's a time to go inwards and really cultivate your divine beauty. It, it It's different from what the world may interpret as beauty. So cultivate your divinity as a divine being. That is your beauty, your wisdom, your clarity, your purpose. That is your beauty. And so you can let go of these limiting beliefs that um, the woman that you are or the man that you are today is not enough because you are enough. You are enough right now. You're beautiful right now inside and out. So Monday is all about you claiming that. For Tuesday, oh good, we have a yes. We have a yes. This reminds me of the uh, the Three of Cups energy. Um, and if you look closely, there's just like lots of um, kind of like magic activity happening here. So I'm getting, you know, for Tuesday, like it's a, it's a doors open kind of day. Like take advantage of that. Like you're going to have all the green lights. Um, you're going to have, uh, like if you're, feeling the inkling to do something and you don't know whether to do it or not, remember this. Remember this card came up. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. This is your go ahead for, for saying yes to that project or yes to love or yes to um, whatever it is your heart is desiring in that moment. Yes to the ice cream, right? Tuesday is a yes day. So remember that all day. For Wednesday, I'm feeling Wednesdays is over here, actually. Oh, you got two for Wednesday. Okay, we have Get Grounded. So we had a really kind of celebration on Tuesday. Um, and don't, you know, be open-minded about this, yes. It might, it might look different for each person. It might be like, well, you know that thing is supposed to be a no, so that you're not even questioning it. Um, there's something going on here that's a big energy and it's time to ground this energy, right? And past highly sensitive connect with nature. Yeah, just ground, plant your roots. Boundaries, okay. So where do you need to establish better boundaries? So maybe I'm gonna kind of put them like this, get grounded, boundaries. There's like, when you, when you say yes to something, when you're calling in big energy, um, you're also going to call in all the things that are opposing that choice to purify. You're going to call them in so that you can meet and move through the challenges so you can release them from your vibration. So don't be dismayed if you called in a big love, if you've called in connection with this person and then a bunch of blocks and upsets come up. That's normal. That's part, that's part for the course of the Ascension journey. So just have some boundaries with, you know, people trying to, maybe these are like energies, not necessarily people trying to pull you back into the old vibration that, that you left, right? Um, this could be like you, you have a raise at work and then suddenly your coworkers are sneering at you. This could be you meet up with your twin flame and they left the karmic partner, but then all, you know, that person starts writing you nasty messages. Do not let this pull you down. That is ego. That is separation consciousness. Do not let, um, you know, the, if you're a lioness, you don't worry about the sheep or lion, right? You don't worry about those who are not choosing what you're choosing. Let them choose what they choose. 
don't let them pull you down in their choice. You continue reaffirming this choice and have boundaries about everything else that is trying to pull you away from it. Okay. We got to make room. Thursday. We got a good week ahead. Wow. This is pretty cool. Thursday. We got Akasha. Ooh, Akasha. This is about um, your, you know, your soul design. Your guidance is divinely guided. This is about um, you not being alone here. Like you have spirit guides. I'm not sure if you've connected with them. Maybe if you want to drop a comment to talk about spirit guides, um, I'd love to share. But you, you have um, guidance. You have support. You're right where you need to be right now. And Thursday is like a day for you to, maybe there's some unsettling energy, but um, you can rest assured that you're, everything is overseen. Like you're, you are covered. Friday. Nice. Soul family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Very nice flow with Thursday, right? So not only do you have support in the spiritual realms, but also here on earth. So call in like-minded people. A good place for you to go. If you're just new to my channel, go to the Twin Flames Universe open forum on Facebook. A lot of talk about Twin Flames Universe, like find out for yourself what that community is like. Hint, hint. It's a very loving community and then you'll find lots of positivity and support there contrary to popular belief, <laughs> right? What is good is not always popular, and what is popular is not always good. That is an, uh, I believe, Albert Einstein quote. For Saturday, I'm running out of room. These cards are beautiful, but they're, they're quite they're kind of big. <laughs> Let's kind of squish them a little. Right, or what are we on? Saturday, yes. Warrior woman have you answered your deeper, deepest calling? So whether you're a feminine or masculine, this warrior woman is for you. Really, the twin flame journey is more than just getting with your twin flame. I'm together with my twin flame. We're living in the same house because I follow the, the teachings of union and I practice them regularly. I purify my consciousness of all the limiting thoughts and beliefs that I have. I'm living with my twin flame, but there is a lot deeper to go. Now we are negotiating how to, how do we live our lives as one? You know, he wants to be a chef and I am an ascension coach for twin flames. And how does that align? How do we support each other? This is all unfolding, but you have to have an intention in your heart, right? You have to look at the big picture of, um, of, of your purpose. What is your calling? Here's a secret for you. If you are um, wondering, you know, what you and your twin flame's life purpose is, it's going to be important for you to get clear in your heart what you like to do. And when you do that, your twin flame is going to choose as one with you. When you let go of waiting for them to get on board with you and you just go forward towards the divine, your twin flame naturally aligns with you. That's why so many people who watch Life Purpose Class for twin flames, um, magnetize their union together because they're choosing to be themselves. Let's look at Sunday. So Saturday is a big life purpose day for you. Sunday, align your life. Well, gosh, this is just such a flowing reading because every card resonates with the one following it. So this is a, a woman that you see in the mirror that's like fractalized or fractured what is not aligned and needs to change. So this whole week, I know that there's been like kind of a big energy around Tuesday for you. I'm wondering what that will be if you want to come back and comment and share with us. Um, but throughout the week, you're kind of integrating this big energy, but then Sunday is like cleanup day. Sunday is going to be like, okay, I need to get up at 7.30 or, okay, no more sugar. You know, recently I found out I couldn't eat oats, for example. they, they I don't know what it is about oats. I could, just can't eat anything oat. So uh, I don't do that, right? Things, little things like that. Like um, maybe you need to get up and meditate. Maybe on a Sunday you decide, oh, you know what? I really need to delete all those pictures of me and my ex because that's not my twin flame. 
a good place, if, if you're really, you know, ready to heal, try the Twin Flames Romance Attraction e-course because it's eight lessons. You watch them as many times as you need. And each time you watch them, you amplify the romance. And there's a lesson seven, which talks about something um, regarding kind of uh, similar to Marie Kondo's method, the Con Marie method, where you only keep things around you that spark joy and you get rid of anything that reminds you of a past lover or romantic partner that's not your twin flame because you don't want that energy lingering around. Yes, this even includes old emails and old pictures. Uh, the whole course is amazing. I watch it every time I, I want to go deeper in romance and it, it oh yeah, it lights up my romantic life with my twin flame. So I hope that you enjoyed this reading for the week. Drop a comment. Let me know how it resonated with you. Again, keep what you like. Leave the rest. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for all of my latest juicy twin flame content. I create regularly and post regularly. So ding that bell to get my latest notifications. Bye-bye. Lots of love.